Were you surprised when ESPN not only did not list him as one of the top 10 quarterbacks in the NFL, but also didn't give him an honorable mention? Yes. You were surprised. How surprised? Uh, like what? Surprised that he was an honorable mention. Okay. I'm okay with him not being ranked as a top 10 quarterback right now. He didn't play a lot last year. The team wasn't any good. He, I still think he's got to prove himself. I think what he did last year when he came back is – you know, he kind of he, he, he kind of held serve. Like you you don't you you can't get rid of me yet. But I still think he has a lot to do to prove to Gannon and Monty Austin for it, the fan base here, maybe even himself, that he's an elite quarterback in this league. I you know you know me. I, I I've said this ever since I've done the show with you. I think there are ten great quarterbacks in the league. I think there are ten mediocre quarterbacks in the league, and I think there are ten quarterbacks in the league that suck. And I break it down very simply into three into thirds. And I think Kyler is squarely in that middle group. He is not an elite quarterback where I would say he's a top 10. And he's definitely not a bottom 10 quarterback in the league where you say this guy sucks. He's in that middle ground. So for me to go through the list in the top 10 and not see him in there, I'm not surprised. But then I get to honorable mention. And I'm expecting to see Kyler Murray in there because I think he deserves to be in there. And mm -hmm. they go through one, two, three, four, five, six guys mentioned as honorable mention, and he's not in there. So 16 players are listed. Yep. So they they look at Kyler Murray as 17 or below um, as far as the quarterback. So am I surprised he didn't make honorable mention? Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't make honorable mention. I'm not surprised he didn't make the top 10. No, I didn't think he was going to make the top 10 just because he didn't play last year. I, I just know in, in my own head, I, I think, and I think this is this is where it is hard to judge Kyler, especially when he's coming off of an injury and he only played in, you know, whatever it was, six games last year, eight games last year. I think what makes it very hard to judge is that I think when he's at his best, okay, when Kyler, when Kyler Murray is at his best, I believe he is a top 10 quarterback in this league. I believe he is in that other category of, of quarterbacks you're talking about. When he's at his best, I don't think he is squarely in that middle tier. I think he's in that top tier. I think he's at the bottom of that top tier, but I think he's in that top tier. The problem is we've only seen Kyler Murray at his best for, what, four games in the last year and a half with so little evidence, with so little information it's hard to know where to put him because he's only been at his best for. And when, I remember look, having the conversations with you about when, you know, we've seen good Kyler Murray games. When was the last time we seen a great Kyler Murray game? When was the last time we saw Kyler Murray three touchdowns, no interceptions, on you know, two hundred ninety-five yards passing? Like we we would talk about that week after week after week of how long we had gone, where we just saw a lot of good games but no great games. Do you feel like you saw a great Kyler Murray game last year? Maybe, when the, he came Fi back? maybe the Philly game. I thought he was good in the Philly game. If you're, I thought he was really good in the Philly game. That's the only one that stands out to me as oh, okay. That that was the game. Remember when they went on the road and they yeah. beat they, they went on the road they beat Philadelphia. Twenty five of thirty one for two hundred and thirty two yards passing, three touchdowns, one interception. He had five carries for twenty four okay, yards. That's that's a great that's, game. That's a really good game. What'd you say? Twenty five out of thirty one. Twenty five out of thirty one. I mean, come on, that's phenomenal. And then against Seattle the next week, he went twenty two of thirty for two sixty two, a touchdown, no picks, five carries for thirty three yards. Not as good because he didn't have the touchdowns in his in his last. And I, I actually did the numbers. I, I, like, I, I kind of like extrapolated it out. If you take what he did in his last four games last year, okay, mm -hmm. his last four games, and carry that out over a 17-game season, that is nearly 4,000 yards passing. That's 30 touchdowns. That's 13 interceptions. That's 587 yards rushing. His last four games? His last four games. If you, if you extrapolate that over a full season, that's a 4,000-yard passing, 30 touchdown, 13 interception season. How could it be 30 touchdowns? It's not 30 touchdowns passing. That's, it can't be 30 touchdowns passing. He had seven passing touchdowns in four games, in those four games? Last year? Yeah, in the last four games of the season, he had four passing oh, touchdowns. Oh, okay, it's the three against Philly. The three, yeah. against, okay, the three against Philly. Yeah, in right. his last four gotcha. games, he had okay. seven passing touchdowns. Okay, yeah, thirty. So the, the last four games the, projects to thirty. Gotcha. Those numbers. That's a top ten quarterback. That is what a top ten quarterback looks like in the NFL. But I get it. You've only got four games. I, I can't. I can't give him that based off of four games, which is why this year is so vitally important for Kyler Murray. It's so vitally, not only for him and them, but how they view him. Like, are you really going to be that guy for us or not? This is, last year it was just about 
Come back, get in the system, show us you're healthy, show us you're good. Show us something. Show us so- and he did. Show us something and- to not make the – listen, last year at this time we thought the Cardinals were going to lose a lot of games and end up with the number one overall pick in the draft and have a decision to make between drafting Caleb Williams or keeping Kyla Murray. So a year ago at this time, that was what started to begin the process of what's going to happen if they do end up with the number one pick. And we had they had a chance for two number one picks because they obviously yeah. you know had the second first round pick um, and it didn't work out that way because Kyler played well enough and they weren't in a position to draft any of those quarterbacks but he still is has a lot to prove oh, to a lot of different Absolutely. people I mean he's he has not solidified himself as the future of the he's doing everything right but now the results have to show too thanks for watching Burns and Gambo. Click to see more from the guys and hit the button in the middle to subscribe so you never miss a video from Arizona Sports.